Now let's take a minute and say something about hydroelectric power. A hydroelectric power plant is inside a dam or right next to a dam. If you take a river, say you have a river that's flowing this way, and you build a dam, something like this, the dam's typically much thicker at the bottom, so this is your riverbed here, and when you put the dam here, that backs the water up, and so you get the water backed up. Um, from above, it might look something like this. Here's the river flowing. Say the river's flowing this way. You might build the dam in an arch shape like this. It's inherently strong when it's in an arch shape like that, and it's also strong because it's very thick down at the bottom, where the pressure is greater. And then let's imagine you have some water flowing through the through the dam. So you have a, a, a gateway here where water can flow in. And um and an opening on the other on the bottom here where it can flow out. And inside here you put a hydroelectric turbine. It's not a not a steam turbine, but it's a hydro turbine. There's some blades there, and as the water rushes past, it turns the turbine blades, and that turns the generator and produ produces electricity. And so you can have electric power coming out from the, the turbines inside the dam. And again, it's really more complicated than that, but that's the main idea. They back up water, so you have water here that's backed up to a certain height. That causes lots of pressure. And so the water is forced in here at high speed and effectively turns that turbine and produces electricity. Now, there's some obvious advantages to this. It doesn't use up natural resources. There's no depletion of the coal or the oil or the natural gas or whatever fossil fuel you might be burning in a, in a fossil fueled plant. There's no um, nuclear waste produced. There's, um, there's no risk of a nuclear accident. There's no air pollution produced from this process. It's very clean energy and it's automatically renewed. The lake is filled back up by the rain or by the river or the, the, the river basin collecting the rainwater. So it's a, considered a renewable form of energy because the sun naturally causes the water to evaporate and clouds to form and then rain falls down and refills the lake. So the hydroelectric power is considered by many people to be a very, very good source of power and in some ways preferable. There still are environmental problems with the hydropower though. For one thing, you're producing a lake here where there wasn't one before. And these lakes can take up many, many square miles. Here in Georgia, a Lake Lanier is a Georgia Power Lake. And um, it didn't exist until they built the, the dam there. And they use the lake as a reservoir for drinking water for Atlanta. But they're also producing electricity. They drain the lake to run, it, run, run water through those turbines to produce electricity. So you're producing an unnatural lake. And there may have been some animals there that had a natural habitat there that don't have it any longer. Or there may have been some people there as well. Sometimes some towns have had to move, some people have had to relocate because of the, a dam being built. And there's only so many rivers that you can dam up. There's only so many places where the, the sides are steep enough where you're not, you're not going to flood uh, just millions of square miles. Only so many rivers that are suitable for damming up in so many places. So hydroelectric power, even though it's good in some ways, from even though the environmental impact, uh, you might argue, is considerably less, it doesn't, hydroelectric power doesn't produce enough electricity to provide us with all the electricity we want to use. So the power companies still typically produce lots of their power from fossil fueled plants and nuclear plants. Here's a picture of Hoover Dam. This is a dam on the Colorado River. It's a massive dam. You can see the arch shape that I was talking about. And it's really cool. It's worth going to see. You can see the road comes in here and it goes right across the top of the dam. So you can literally drive over the top of the dam and have a really nice view. And you can stop and visit and take some tours and things. Down at the bottom here, you see some water flowing out right there. And, um, and this is where the equipment is to generate power. And it doesn't show up in this picture because the resolution isn't enough. But there are a tremendous number of power cables coming up out of the dam here and going across the countryside taking power to different places. You just can't see them in this picture, but they are there. I know that because I've been there and I've seen them. They're producing a lot of electricity in this dam. Here's a picture of a nuclear power plant. This obviously is the cooling tower over here, and I would assume that this is where the reactor core is down inside this building. Here's another picture of a nuclear power plant. This one's in Czechoslovakia. And this one has four cooling towers. This is a pretty large plant. And um, I don't know the exact layout of the diagram and everything here, uh, or where everything is, but I'm going to assume that the, the nuclear reaction is in one of these buildings over here on the right. 
And here's a picture of a fossil fueled power plant. And um, as you can see, there's a good bit of air pollution coming from it. And one thing to note that is that projects like this are always controversial. When, when they're going to build a new power plant, whether it's nuclear or fossil fuel or even a hydroelectric plant, some people are strongly for it and some people are strongly opposed to it. And people are going to be pointing out the advantages and disadvantages and fighting over it, ar arguing over it, and it gets political real fast. But um, if someone's uh, very much in favor of having the fossil plant put in, they might show a nice picture like this where everything looks clean and efficient and someone opposed to the project might show a picture like this where there's just massive amounts of smoke and this poor guy who has to work down there amidst it all. And uh, as is usually the case, the truth is probably somewhere in between. But all of these types of power plants, uh, nuclear plants and fossil fueled plants and hydroelectric plant plants, have various problems as well as various advantages and all three are commonly in use today.